in order to know move on to understand the child development um, cycle uh, the two aspect we talk about thinking process uh, like divergent convergent thinking how do you think if an ecosystem is provided with a steam how would this help thinking process to evolve see for uh, uh, any development both thinking are important convergent thinking and divergent thinking so it has to be used in right time at right place so for a kid when you are creating an ecosystem uh, when you are making a beautiful recipe and a sprinkling of uh, the uh, you know the dry fruit mm-hmm. or sprinkling of a kesar mm-hmm. an indian tradition mm-hmm. or sprinkling of little elaichi Mm-hmm. will always give that fragrance and the completeness of the taste mm-hmm. so both of this thinking putting in a steam ecosystem would definitely have a good impact you know like an add on mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and it's important as well okay wonderful so uh, what are you saying you're suggesting that the, the the schools and the parents and each individual child should get an ecosystem and school uh, has to provide it default and then parents has to push a child get into that ecosystem through various ways to make it happen yeah uh, dr moving to uh, what steam the buzzword um, there is one important element which i personally see is a that is art uh, as much we see artists and art has so invaluable for our life uh, but unfortunately or maybe it's still a debatable point that science takes a credit seat in the education system of Indian scenario. Mm-hmm. So, how do you see this challenge of and the way art is uh, sometimes problem not valued compared to science? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, I think that's the reason why from STEM it has gone into STEAM, where your addition of arts has been done. So, when we talk about arts, the one word which suits the art mm-hmm. is creation. Mm-hmm. Another appropriate word where you can add on to that creation is innovation. so arts is something which you have some concept in mind and you are expressing it in in a creative way mm-hmm. and so that the world understands okay. so i'm sure you're getting my answer right so art is important to express our ideas in a different ways mm-hmm. see if you want to build a machine we have to remember that it comes with sketches mm-hmm. the artistic sketches or if you take any of the uh, latest movies if you take what we see uh, which which comes brilliantly on the screen is first created artistically created and then technology will be added true okay. so if you take spider man mm-hmm. if you take avenger yeah. you know that, that has been uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the most uh, highest crossover movie ever yeah. in the history of uh, film industry right yeah. it was artistically created each character mm-hmm. the background scheme and then technology was put Mm-hmm. so you can imagine just with the movie where the art comes first and then integration of technology comes later can create such a wonderful you know world uh, on the screen so how can you miss out uh, how can we say that you know art should come after science uh, yeah. if you ask me mm-hmm. it's always through the arts the science gets better okay i think this is again a very different perspective what putting across So there are right examples which is true to nature and we yeah. all witnessing it at this moment um, uh, like i just want to be when we i want to add one more thing yeah see Please. when you look at the nature you will not see science in there first you will see the art the landscapes the sun the birds so by naturally by nature art comes first and then comes science so art is very important uh, when we are talking about Steam. Right. Yeah, I think a lot of fan organizations rely mostly on art, and then the art takes form of and adds some technology to that, and then you see both going together in hand. Yes. Hand. And I think we have a lot of companies to quote like that. Yes. Uh, like I wanted to ask you, like there's a lot of myth or let's say misconception. Mm-hmm. Let's let's take an example in a context across the world. Mm-hmm. I think let's take in a subject wise, for example, mm-hmm. mathematics as a subject. Mm-hmm. People find it like either it is too easy, interesting, mm-hmm. or they find it too difficult. Uh, so that there probably across the world something similar exists like this uh, do you think art could help learning a subject like that definitely yeah. any see, examples and see the thing is the moment we say something difficult or something easy it's based on our understanding right see when we see somebody driving a car 
will be like thrilled oh my god how is driving a car but when you start when you know the technique of driving a car then you feel it nice so any subject if you take it's always like that wherein till you learn it uh, we have a saying you know till you learn it it's more like a brahma with with you yeah. and then once you have learned it it it's it's, it's a simple thing so difficulties comes because of understanding so when we talk about understanding the way each brain understand things are different you know for few of the brains in kids we see uh, you give them one small information and they derive multiple information with that and then they will come up with something new so if you give same information to another baby baby will understand only that particular information and baby may not uh, come up with any new ideas the thing is whatever information we are putting cannot be put in a similar way to all the kids because each and every human brains are different so it has to be put in a different way and using an art to help maths or any of the technology or science or engineering topics will definitely uh, make things easier because each and every human brains understand and thinks in a different way so art going through the art making the science and technology or maths are uh, teaching them uh, so that they understand uh, in a better and, and in a more uh, uh, easy way uh, arts would be a tool definitely i think we're going back to the same point of what we were discussing earlier right i see a connection between that yes. i'm just trying to see that I, i think the schools or any education system probably need an ecosystem beyond being just teachers there they need a specialization people who yes. will help them to look into a perspective where the same thing can be thought in a different fashion and people still be able to relate to that and yes. learn those things wonderful i'm sure uh, this would be an eye opener for a lot of people who are uh, wanting to understand how do i teach uh, a challenging subject which a child finds it at times and parents don't know how to fix it actually what when you are talking about this something which comes to my mind is see we want to teach uh, stem or steam for uh, kids mm-hmm. so before teaching suppose if there is a maths teacher they should have a stem meeting <laughs> wherein okay. see my uh, class students mm. uh, they should approach an art uh, teacher and uh, they should discuss and say that uh, see my one of my students is not learning uh, geometry or uh, how to find uh, a center point you know the the radius or uh, diameter of a circle mm. uh, can you help us out so this is a formula can you put your inputs of arts to this mm. first if they prepare if, if they mutually talk mm. uh, the teachers and when they go to the students first they should do the steam education along with them and then with the kids trust me it will create definitely you know a great understanding and more fun and even the teachers will will be surprised you know, to looking at how the arts teacher see geometry the way you know how they approach or how they see and this type of coordination within the teachers will help in bringing uh the steam education to the uh, students in a more logical way yeah i think it's all about collaboration in the school exactly 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 sure it's a high tech yeah i think the it's important child learns that we just we schools are meant to be and there is a space of a great ecosystem for child wonderful so getting uh, to moving to the last question i would like to ask you is like uh, could you tell us like what message would you like to give for children uh, in terms of tinkering tinkering and building projects and how important for them in case uh, they are opted see basically you are asking uh, 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 what importance we need to create uh, about uh, steam education uh, so that they start uh, you know thinking about the steam education see uh, after uh, talking so much i'm seeing steam everywhere mm-hmm. you know if you take uh, see if you take this mm-hmm. so you can see an art right yeah definitely yes the science of air inside that true yeah, yeah and the application of floating which is life saving right yeah mm-hmm. plus uh, the fun filled uh, water and entertainment entertainment yeah, yeah, yeah. in a very you are utilizing the art and if you see that there's a music as well mm-hmm. so which will soothe the uh, brain mm-hmm. and the art mm-hmm. the color mm-hmm. which which comes again under art and the science of uh swimming mm-hmm. and the art of enjoying it mm-hmm. so stem 
Steam is like that. If you integrate, it's like uh, uh, bringing in uh, all the uh, knowledge of a human being to uh, lead and enjoy and apply the knowledge what we have learned. Mm -hmm. So, if we make every parents and kid look through that way, definitely we will be successful in tinkering their brain to uh, to the concept or the idea of uh, STEAM education. Wonderful. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> we should leave the interesting thought what Dr. Prashant Gauda is saying. Um, he is also uh, uh, director uh, for this particular place that is called as Little Baby and he also practices at Motherhood Hospital uh, and I am sure uh, it is a very enriching thought process which we could hear from Dr. Prashant Goda. Thank you for valuable time and I am going to take this with me uh, to realize <laughs> that okay, I have something I see as to be a steam and then we could relate to things. Thank no, you very much for your thank time. You, thank, nice you, thank, you, thank you. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.